Welcome back everyone, you're watching the training week from August 26th where the weekly focus was to tick off some of those new goals that I set and the weekly highlights was three out of three Court Gaylords on Tuesday. If you're new here, this is a video diary that I've been keeping for around the last four years where you can see my build up towards all sorts of competitions from the Commonwealth Games to World Championships, World Cups, even the 2021 Tokyo Olympic Games as well as uh, more minor domestic competitions so you can rewind time and watch literally every single turn I've taken on the equipment in the last four years so this was my first week uh, back after taking a light week and right off the bat I felt really good on Monday I felt fresh I, uh, I didn't hurt as bad but like all uh, you know like all freshness it kind of fizzled out by the end of the week after all the training I'd done yet uh, you know this is the only this is, this is only the first time that I'm taking this uh, light week every fourth week approach so I'm gonna stick to it for a wee while and, and see how it works out so uh, I managed to tick off I think three or four different goals that I set from lol uh, from last training week so if you if you remember because I usually respond very well to setting setting myself some goals and uh, I get them done on time much like the Kudanov before surgery and the double twist double front and by the end of June those those two were the the biggest ones I thought I'd set myself four week goals and see if that speeds up my uh, my training my progress so you'll you'll see the ones that I managed this week most of them were some easy ones but uh, I was pretty surprised at, at some of the other ones that I got here over on the high bar I'm increasing the amount of back giant work I do so rather than just taking one warm-up turn where I'm doing just a few giants a couple of half turns in that over grip I'm doing an extra set or two of uh, you know half turns blind change top changes whatever it might be and this week was a new first I decided just to do one Gaylord on a Monday uh, if you've been following I haven't been doing Gaylords on Monday I've been doing them on Tuesday and Friday or more often Tuesday and Saturday twice a week so I thought I'd give myself one just to see if I can hit that correct kick out shape and get ready to, to catch some good ones on Tuesday and it worked out really well in my favor I was really happy with that Gaylord you saw before and didn't mind so much about the you know the catch I was more focused on that beautiful kick out position and it looked pretty epic here on Tuesday so here's another thing that I ticked off um, very surprisingly boom magic trick there he is and disappears luckily I didn't land on the wood I landed right on the foam outside of the mat so uh, yeah I ticked off uh, one of the things here on the Tuesday and it looked like the round off uh, the round off back rotation started coming along so I built up to I believe those were my first double doubles and I even threw a double back two and a half from a round off so needless to say I was, I was feeling like I was understanding what was going on a bit more so there was the surprising tick off um, you know I did tuck down the double pike a little bit but hey if Carlos Yulos got paid in uh, the apparatus final in Paris then surely that gets paid another tick right there hop half just an easy one so you know I knew I could have do could, could have done that no problem however uh, you know throwing my arms back in that hop half does create a little bit of sharp pains in that shoulder so wasn't all uh, wasn't all easy but still that's two things ticked off right there and a double twist double pike I didn't think I'd get so soon surprisingly this week uh, that I'm existing in now I did something completely unexpected um, I don't want to give it away but you know I'll let you guess down in the comments what do I uh, what did I get this week uh, I don't think anyone's gonna guess it because it's not something that I've worked well at all really um, but I'll give you a clue it's on the air track so see if you can guess what I made this week I'll be really surprised if someone actually gets it there's the three for three Gaylords three for three man there's uh, 
there's never a time where we have been so so consistent well very rarely in fact this week i thought uh, after the saturday that i catch all of them but i remember that there was that one on monday that i missed otherwise we would have had a whole week with a hundred percent catch rate now that stoop half was definitely i mean that was to handstand it was above 45 the goal is above 45 and it was above 45 but I don't really want to count it because my legs are in that break dance splits world so i want to see if i can get it above 45 nice and square with my legs together still those ones feel so good where you feel like you get to handstand you feel that good pressure on the bar there's a little bit of a pause man it makes me happy but you know it's a whole different universe to doing it with your legs apart like that and with legs glued together those legs apart help you to stay straight when uh, otherwise you'd be way off to the side so if you remember like a couple months ago where i went really early on one to get the handstand and came down and cracked my my legs on the bar sideways that's probably what would have happened if i had kept my legs together on that one a good stepping stone there towards that peach one bar healy with no mat go swung to handstand nice and clean out of the healy so you know, I might actually give that one a shot today if I feel good. Uh, peach one by Healy without, without a mat. I feel like I'm ready. The other P-bar goal is Honma swing to handstand from the fin up. Here in New Zealand, we usually call it a fin up, but I believe overseas they call it a, a cast as well. I use that, that word myself, but since coming back home to the old NZ, I started using the word fin up because everybody around you is using using different terminology what was that i'm all about the breakdancing these days so open double backs over hard all right i mean that's a tick i landed it wasn't the prettiest land but i stayed open the whole time and i didn't touch my hands on the floor i only managed one and face planted the rest of them how is the full twister gonna happen? Jim Highbar Clip of the Week. What do we got today? Double layout Kovacs. Catch on the chin and just turn into a ghost. Go Those are my favorite glitches. When the gymnast turns into a ghost, goes through the bar and boom, pops up to handstand. So slowly I've started doing a little bit of scissor work. Now scissor, much like that straddle press to handstand, goes through that lower range uh, planche. And that lower planche range, better said, is still pretty sharp. So, you know, I thought I'd start slowly but surely and, and yeah, my circles suck. Believe it or not, that's me trying very hard to, to do a good shape. Uh, one thing I've noticed is single handle circles are actually harder than they were and I'm pretty sure that's because of all the conditioning I've been doing all the strength that I that I posted a few weeks back I'm still doing all of that I'm putting on the weight vest so I'm really taking care of my physical strength looks like we got some earthquakes earthquakes in the gym today what happens is when someone's walking on the floor the iPad kind of bumps up and down and it looks like there's an earthquake but yeah, the strength is, is really influencing the single handle work. But you know, I'm not gonna stop it just yet. I think right now, strength is really important for me to come back strong. Um, we all know that Pommel Horse is probably my, my worst apparatus with, with rings. So I'm not too, uh, too focused about leveling up so much there. I'm just kind of coming back for fun at this stage. and. You know, if in the future Team New Zealand needs me somewhere to do my simple Maggie Savato pommel horse routine, uh, this way, if I keep it up, I'll always be able to do something in the in the low 14 star value range. So I had to skip Thursday. There was an event on at the gym. Seems like every Thursday there's something something on at the gym, but I pushed it so hard on the Tuesday. I think I needed that extra day off. And I continued this week doing a few, did I do it? Yep, doing a few Jaeger taps. Still scares me. It scares me, not so much doing the Jaeger tap scares me, but going back and doing Gaylord after the Jaeger tap the next day. 
is, is quite, um, yeah. And there you go, a little front tuck behind the bar. I hope I'm not opening the wrong can of worms here. So I tweaked my shoulder here. You'll see me <laughs> in a bit. I was going to do some quast and rebalco drills. And I missed my first hand. Opened up my sore shoulder a bit too much there. And ouchies. That stung a lot. I definitely felt that. Whoa. Didn't quite engage as I pushed into the tramp. Always got to be pushed away. But back we were on Saturday doing some goaded pommel horse work. I love doing flares. I like looking at flares. So I want to see if I can get back to at least the standard that I was before surgery. Legs look like they're getting wider. But here we go. One, two, no form. Just get the number. Four, five, six, seven. Did he do it? Did he do it? He did it. Another one checked off. Ten circles. Relatively easy one. I thought I would try to do the Stockley up check as well, but... It was a no-go. So, so far, one, two, three, four goals checked off. And funny enough, it's uh, one goal per apparatus. Um, you know, Pike Gaylord's a biggie, but I think I might try that one today if I feel good. Floor. Uh, yeah, floor. I'm not sure why I put second half on floor. I guess that's going to have to be like a, a whip two and a half, a press, double twist for the side, double pike to finish. I'll use a 10 centimeter map, but first I got to get that dull pike on a 10 centimeter map by itself. So there's still a few biggies to go. Still a few biggies, but you know, I made my uh, screensaver on my iPad those those goals I screenshotted in the previous video, so so it's always in my face and I and I don't forget some really nice kickouts there. Little pike at the hips. It could be a little bit more open, but I was really happy two out of two again so I caught five Gaylords in a row from Tuesday and Saturday missed one on the Monday which I wasn't really trying to catch and I was a bit more committed to keeping my legs I was gonna say keeping my legs together on the Saturday but apparently not so I've started those Honmas from the fin up I'm catching that one was tucked I feel like maybe you know maybe this week I'll be able to do the Honma swing to handstand get another one ticked off on p-bar gets into one arm is going to be a bit of a challenge so uh, but you know if there's any goals that i don't get by the end of this four week cycle i'll just slot them into the next four week cycle so i feel like that's how i'm going to work at it anything that i didn't get put it into the next cycle keep chipping away it's it's really fun it's really enjoyable I, you know every single day uh, i know exactly what I'm working towards, what the goals are, and uh, gives me a little bit of incentive. Man, how do my wrists not rip on high bar, but they rip like that in a peach? You know, you go down on peach basket and you nick the the side of your the side of your hand. So I'm gonna have to start taping up again because the calluses are getting quite big, and it's the callus that gets nicked on the bar. And after that, I was just dead. I was just dead, so I didn't do any double backs. Better get on the full twister this week, because I didn't do any full twisters last week. Okay, man, I'm talking fast today. Jim Hyber Cliff of the Week. We have Josh Carnes catching Amaris, and Dallas Hale also catching Amaris. Um, so, Josh now becomes the second person on the planet to have caught Amaris and a Miyachi. The other gymnast being Sergei Nadin from Russia. So I might have to update my little Instagram uh, post where I put all the predecessors that caught Amaris before me and add the, these two to the list. You know, there's probably been more people, but the impressive thing about Dallas is one. The first giant is slow. He gets a monster yank. Look how slow that first giant is. He's barely going over the bar. Yet, boom, Amaris. So congratulations to those two, probably the skill that took me the longest in my life to get. Um, thanks for watching, all the best, till next time.